Give you guys a little tour as well. It's what, our first time, right? Yeah, it's our first time going to Star Wars Trading Post, but what's actually pretty cool is, if you guys don't know, the location of the Star Wars Trading Post is in the building that used to be um, the Rainforest Cafe, which is actually where Matt and I went for prom. Maybe oh, we'll find a couple pictures that so much we history. can put in here. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> but uh, they actually took it out, and I think they're planning on building a hotel and tearing down the whole building but I don't know what happened to that plan if they're still planning it or what in the meantime though it is the location of the Star Wars trading post let's go check it out Wow, this is so cool. Wow. And it feels nice in here. It's actually more air conditioned than the other places. This is super cool. For twist off and then the pop off, yeah. non twist off. I don't know what that's called. Can't wait to get my doctor spot shipment. But like, as you can tell, it opens up right here, uh -huh. and you can put in these chips. There's six of them, seven of them, six. But you can put them in, and it gives you a droid personality. That's actually really cool. What? That's such a crazy idea. You can have a different robot every day of the week almost. That's amazing. Oh, they have all the different like personality chips down here. That's amazing. Oh, you get to put them in different ones like these. Um, I'm not sure if yeah, you can put them. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think so. You can, pick from <laughs> you, can, you can have C3PO walking around and just be completely mad at you. <laughs> That's awesome. So, fun fact about the DJ Rex is he's actually the original droid from the Star Toys ride. Oh. But they, when they upda updated it for the new uh, movies, they took him out and replaced it with the C3PO. Yeah. So they moved to him. After being in storage for a little bit, they moved him to the cantina in Star Wars land. Yeah. And oh. he still has his original voice lines for his like mixtapes and stuff. And when he powers down, it's like the like when like you crash at the end of the original story to it. That's interesting. Honestly, I kind of like remember him. And I think I do remember him being in the cantina too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the same droid. <laughs> You look awfully familiar. Did any of you take a tour to Pandora? Oh, look it! Oh my gosh! Amazing. We'll get ten. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what does it do? It's a, no, it doesn't do anything. It's a wood structure. It's decoration. It comes with Java's inside. This is my new gaming headset, right? <laughs> Voice changer with phrases. Whoops. What's the button for phrases? 
I can't find the budget for free. <laughs> oh well. I don't know if I... I don't know if I know. There's a switch in the back. So that's why it's like... How do you do it? You push down on the button. Push on the button. At least that's what the thing says. Oh yeah, it's very quiet. Very quiet. So it's meant for when you're wearing the helmet. Yeah. This right here is the creature that was inside the uh, the trash chute when they jump in the original Star Wars movie. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It's actually not as ugly as I thought it would be. It's <laughs> weird. Because it feels weird. <laughs> yeah. Blinks. Oh, it blinks. That's actually really creepy. The fact that like it looks around and <laughs> blinks. Wow. With like a like a like one of those like rubber feel things. <laughs> Mando blasters. That's cool. I thought they were umbrellas for a second. No, this is like a, that's like a this. No, I know what you're talking about. That's like a thing. That would be cool if they were umbrellas. Lightsaber umbrella? Yeah, that'd be cool. 40 bucks if you don't want to spend the, the 200. 40. The design on these mugs is really cool. The print, whatever it is, looks awesome. They're 35 bucks. No, this is the no wait, not something. I was thinking this was the thing that like Finn had, but like. That's I don't know what this is from actually. It says first order judicial laser axe. Yeah. Laser axe. But like I'm trying to think because it's not the I thought it was the things that like the stormtroopers, the shock troopers. Why am I not surprised? But like those things <laughs> that like spun, but they have spinning. Or, like, that's the, the, the guy where he's like throws it down. And it no, like, I thought that's that's why I thought it was different. Yeah, this is something completely different. That's what I was thinking. But this is an ass. This is amazing. I'm why have you chosen change. the dark side? I blame Dr. Scratch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to search this up and see where it's from. Uh, you grabbed the defective one. <laughs> my lightsaber's not working here, right? <laughs> oh, <crazy. laughs> Can't give up. Good guy. All right, so that was really fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, we hope that you guys had as much fun as we did and that you guys enjoyed experiencing the Star Wars trading post with us for the very first time. Uh, you guys should come check it out. It's such a cool store. Yeah. If you guys if you guys are Star Wars fans or just Disney fans, it's really cool what they turned, you know, how they reused the Rainforest Cafe like skeleton, I guess, for for the trading post. It like almost it's like almost it was made for it. It was, it was really cool. But we hope that you guys enjoyed the video and had as much fun with us as we had in there. And uh, because we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.